I don't know about you guys, but the MW2 2009 vibes I got from that trailer were insane. But yeah, welcome back everyone. Today is a very exciting day because I get to give you guys an early showcase of the new H2M mod, which is basically Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer. And I mean the real Modern Warfare 2, not the one from 2022, the one we all know and love. As you guys can see from the gameplay in the background right now, we are so back. This is basically just a mod running off the Steam version of Modern Warfare Remastered, so if you do want to play this when it launches, you do need to own that game on Steam to play the client. As I'm recording this, the game is actually on sale for I believe $20 but not for much longer but to be honest I'm sure you can find even cheaper prices on key websites like G2A or something but anyways yeah this is built off the Modern Warfare Remastered engine but with Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered guns and maps ported over from the IW4X version of Modern Warfare 2 which is a PC client if you know you know and if you don't know well basically imagine if Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered had a multiplayer like that engine those guns that's what you're gonna be looking at anyways this is my first impressions of the game after playing one session of the early access playtest also, everything I think you guys should know going into it when it does come out here in a few days. By the way, any complaints that I do say in this video, which I really don't have many of at all, just know that I'm friends with some of the developers, which is how I even have this early access. Huge shout out to them. But I've passed all of this on, so I'm sure a lot of it is subject to change by the time the full client comes out. I'm recording this pre-release, obviously. If you guys don't want to hear me yap about my first impressions of the game, but you still want to watch early gameplay, I actually uploaded another video already. So you can go check that out on my channel if you want. It's actually two sniping nukes, one with the intervention, one with the Barrett. The intervention one was in FFA and the Barrett one was on Kill Confirmed on BOG which is actually a COD 4 map. This client since it is built off Modern Warfare Remastered it does have all the COD 4, well MWR maps in the rotation or in the game. Obviously it has the MW2 maps like I said before but updated graphics to look a little more modern and it actually has the campaign and special ops maps from Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered. I mean the guns already belong on them since it wasn't the campaign remaster so it does make sense even if they don't play great multiplayer. To be honest I haven't played them yet I'm sure some of them might but they obviously they weren't multiplayer maps for a reason and that's why they're actually not in the servers yet as of the time i'm recording this they might be when it launches i know you guys saw them in the trailer like the white house getting struck by the predator missile that was actually crazy but also i was messing around in private match and the barriers were a little weird so i think they're actually gonna be touching those up a little bit before the client comes out maybe they'll be in the rotation then i don't know but hey at least they're in private match also i'm actually only playing this against other creators who got early access and bots obviously but these aren't just any bots obviously the creators are sweats too but i think the the bots are even worse than the creators like some of these creators i'm not gonna lie like yo you guys might be pros but i'm kind of clapping you no i'm kidding that was a complete joke i'm actually getting dogged on by most of them but i'm getting dogged on even worse by the bots i don't know what difficulty they're on they're not quite veteran i'd say probably like hardened if you were to compare it to an old cod but i don't know they're really strong that aimbot they got is crazy they can just track you through walls and i'm not gonna lie it's hard to target multiple of them at once i'm kind of just now getting the hang of it i mean unless you're like one of the sewer snipers their face scope is like zephy roar Alistair scope they've been going crazy on h2m so far another first impression is that i'm kind of used to the new cards of attack sprint i finally just adapted to them so it kind of felt slow and clunky when i first went back i'm not gonna lie it didn't feel like the ogmw2 to me until i got sleight of hand pro i forgot i even had to grind to unlock pro perks i don't think they've had pro perks since mw3 because yeah ghost had perk packages so i haven't had to grind to unlock a pro perk in like 13 years forgot it was even a thing i got sleight of hand pro and it was a game changer i actually didn't have it yet in this gameplay you're watching right Right now which is why it does look slow and clunky maybe but i did have it in my nuke with the intervention that i posted yesterday it was the sub base one i believe the first one of that video if you guys want to compare you can finish running this video then go run that one and you will definitely be able to tell it'll look like you're playing the video in like two times speed also i didn't know i had to grind to unlock slot of hand pro because the challenges are actually different than the og mw2 version where it's pretty easy you just needed to get kills with slide of hand on so it came naturally this time there was like more of a challenge you had to get a kill reload than get a kill within three seconds like 10 times I think. A few of the challenges were different like that, but a lot of them were basically the same, but they actually made them a bit easier on us. I think since the game's release isn't going to be as big of a scale, don't get me wrong, it's still going to be huge, but since it's not going to be like hundreds of thousands of people, I mean, at least that I'm predicting, I don't know, it could go massive, but it's not going to be like a global COD release, you know? So a lot of the challenges requirement numbers are significantly reduced, probably to make up for not as many people gaming it. I mean, I'm saying that like there's not going to be a fuck ton of people on it. Like I've seen the numbers on the trailer on Twitter and YouTube and all the replies and comments and all that and people are so hyped for this to drop they cannot wait to get their hands on it so i know it's gonna go crazy when it comes out here in a few days i know if you're watching this right now you can't wait to get your hands on it that's why you're listening to me yeah but enough yapping back to my first impressions and just stuff that i think you guys should know they added some new call signs as well that weren't in the og game but they stayed pretty true to like the theme of it you guys will see but there's some new cool emblems like there's a sore emblem but there's cool different challenges for them i don't know i don't want to spoil too much but you guys are gonna see here when you get your hands on it in a few days you guys are also gonna see a lot of the new custom camo 
camos that they added. They got like variants of Paw the Atomic. They got new mastery camos. It's actually a mastery camo grind. But yeah, they got Paw the Atomic from the new MW2. The only reference to that game in this game. We also got like a sword camo and emblem for snipers. The requirement for that one is collaterals. You know, they had to stay in tune with the sniping community a little bit. And they got more surprises like that. You guys will see. I'm going to stop spoiling things. But if you do want to see them all right when the game drops, you can actually go in a private match. You can play all of the maps in there and use like all the attachments, camos. You got to unlock all, but you can't level up, unfortunately. And yeah, I haven't even mentioned that yet. I've kind of referenced it, but I haven't mentioned the leveling system. And I should have earlier because this isn't like the other clients where you can just unlock everything at once. You have every gun in the game. You actually are going to have to level up and grind to get all your titles, emblems, camos, even weapons. You're going to be level one. You don't have anything. You're going to have the default classes, buddy. And then once you get to level 70, like the OG MW2, we got classic prestige mode back. Thank God. And then once you get to 10th prestige, it's actually a level 1000 grind once you hit that. But that's only for the real grinders. We'll see if anyone gets there. We'll see if I even prestige because the leveling up everything again is going to be especially brutal for trick shot artists having to unlock like our akimbo and tack knife on every pistol again and all that. The only things that stay when you prestige are camos. Thank God once again, I would not want to have to restart that grind. And then titles and emblems. So you're going to have to unlock all those weapons, attachments, and all that again if you decide to reset once you hit level 70. Unfortunately, even though I'm like level 50 now, all of us creators are getting our levels and stats reset before the full client drops. So we're all going to be on the same even playing field as you guys. But the fact that we even have the opportunity to show this client off early to our audiences is massive and is much appreciated. So thank you to the team. I don't know everyone on it off the top of my head. I know Alistair. I know Watchful Wolf, Sass, Mikey, but anyone else watching this too who might be on the team. Thank you guys for all the work you put into it. And I know I definitely got a lot of trick shotters watching this that want to hear all about the trick shotting on it, but I'm actually probably going to make a whole separate video tomorrow on trick shotting as this is just kind of my first impressions. I'm still unlocking everything, figuring out the mechanics and all that. This is more just general stuff, but if you are a trick shotter, keep an eye out for my next video. Although one thing I noticed that actually affects trick shotters and casual players is you can actually have a melee secondary now instead of just like a pistol, machine pistol, launcher, and I think that was it, right? Also, you can cancel stun grenades instead of having to throw them like the OG MW2, which is a nice little quality of life change. I don't think even MW3, the OG one, had that. I'm pretty sure they added that in BO2, so yeah, that's appreciated. Not even Ghost had it now that I think about it. Also, one thing that I didn't love, I noticed that I was dying from really low heights so that I wouldn't die jumping from in the OG MW2, but I think that was actually my fault. It was something to do with my FPS. I don't know if it was too low or too high. And once I get Commando Pro unlocked, that won't be a problem, but it was just something I noticed. But hey, that's why they haven't us creators tested early, because I doubt you guys are going to have to deal with any of the negative stuff I said so far, which, like I said, is not even major at all. It's not much, and it's probably going to be fixed by the time you guys are even able to play. So I will say, I did mention this to them, but I think weapon balancing felt a little bit off. But at the same time, I think I'm just forgetting how broke the OG MW2 was because they said everything was the same. So I might just be bugging. But when the game does come out, I want you guys to come back to this video and drop a comment and let me know if I was tripping or if you guys agree. The snipers do get a lot of hit markers. I do remember that. But holy shit, I did not remember how good some of those red guns were. Like, wow. I haven't even got to use the meta guns yet, like the ACR. But just the FAMAS that's on the default class and you unlock it early on, it's absolutely demonic. The FAMAS is going to give you a one burst kill like 99% of the time. I swear it feels like minuscule health. I don't even remember being that stupidly broken in the OG MW2, but it's like the COD 4 M16. Even better, it feels like. And I was thinking all of the guns were just insane or the health was lower, but then I used the UMP45 and the M4A1, and they felt basically identical to the OG MW2. So maybe I'm just remembering wrong and or asset the game. I don't know. One more thing I will touch on is how the MW2 maps play. Like I've said a few times now, this game is on the MWR engine, which is why you have to have the game on Steam to even play the mod. Make sure to get it ASAP with the sale I mentioned earlier, by the way. We don't make anything from that, or I say we like I'm involved with this. I'm not involved with the client, but yeah, the people involved with the client, they don't make anything. It all goes straight to Call of Duty and Activision, but you get to play the mod. But anyways, like I said before, with me dying from fall damage, I don't know if the jump height thing has to do with my FPS, or I don't know if it's character model, but sometimes I feel like my character doesn't actually fit on the map. And I shouldn't just say the map, I should say specifically the OG MW2 maps. Like, I don't know, maybe my character needs to hit Weight Watchers or go on a diet or something. I don't know if the MW2 DLC is in the game, but if they had bailout, maybe he can go to the gym on there. Oh wait, the DLC are. I've seen Salvage and Storm and crap. Yeah, yeah, the DLC is in there. But anyways, I'm gonna need to go to that bailout gym because I have a hard time even jumping or climbing through windows and sometimes even running out of the doors. Like, I'll get caught on them. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm used to these maps, but on the new COD. But I don't know. It just kind of felt weird at times. Let me know if you guys agree when you get your hands on it. Oh yeah, I believe the MW2 maps are getting some more work done to them as well, even though the skyboxes are all like more vibrant already than the OG MW2. Some of them just don't totally match the maps of lighting, I believe. So I think they're going to be fixing that up. And yeah, I think that's everything I thought was worthy of mentioning during my first play session. Overall, for
first impressions, it's gonna be really fun to play against real people and level up and camo grind and go for clips, of course, but on the OG MW2 again. Obviously, I do like the OG MW2 IW4 engine more, but I am fine with this one because I do like the MWR engine and it does allow for a lot more. So you know what? If they can do more with it, why not? Also, stuff like titles and emblems and of course prestige mode are gonna make this mod feel a lot more like a real remastered game than just a client. And I'm sure a lot of you watching this know about the SM2 client that got cease and desisted by Activision like probably a year ago now. If you don't, it's supposed to be like a best of Call of Duty Online type mod. And when I say Call of Duty Online, I don't mean like the Chinese Call of Duty. I mean like all the Call of Duty games online, like the multiplayer. Even though that's kind of what Call of Duty Online was, not what I meant. But yeah, even though this client doesn't have anything from any of the Black Ops games or even MW3, a Ghost or AW, any game like that, it definitely does feel like a solid combination of the OG MW2 and MWR. It definitely feels like a solid combination of the OG MW2 that we all know and love and MWR, which I don't think any of us hated, right? I don't know. I feel like if MW2 Campaign Remastered had a multiplayer, it would have been pretty true to what we're looking at and playing right now. Well, I'm playing right now. You guys will be playing in a few days here when it drops on August 16th, 2024. Like I said before, they stayed pretty true to the game, but they didn't stay 100%. They changed up a few things that were actually quality of life changes, like that stun grenade thing. But they even took out the ability to one-man army noob tube. I don't even know if OMA, like the perk, is in the game in general. I don't think you can even pull out the backpack. I actually liked one-man army as a perk, not even for noob tubing, but just for using a different class at last at search and destroy so I can trick shot. But to be honest, it was probably pretty annoying to put into the MWR engine, and if it allowed for OMA tubing anyway, then you know what? Good riddance to it. We just don't need it, even if we did like it and used it for trick shotting. Oh well. This client, even though it does keep us in mind in a lot of aspects, it just wasn't overall made for trick shotters, which I'll go over more in my trick shotting video. But with that all being said, it does feel like an older game. It feels like a blast from the past, but to be honest, that's exactly what it is. It's a way for us to relive the nostalgia from the golden days of COD. Obviously, it's not going to be as fluid as all these new Call of Duty games on the IW9 engine attack sprint like MW23 or MW3 2023, you guys know what I meant. And unfortunately, the MWR engine just doesn't have all the same style that the OG MW2 engine had, but that's more on the trick shotting side of things, and they actually did implement some of the mechanics from the IW4 engine, like the ability to sprint swap. But you know what? I'll be talking way more about that in my next video on the client, which is going to be trick shotting based. And with that being said, I think that's a perfect spot to leave this video off on. So I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me. Yeah. If you watched this far, please make sure to drop a like rating and subscribe if you're new. I upload Call of Duty content basically every single day. So if you like COD, I'm sure you'll enjoy at least some of my content. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next video, especially if you're a trick shotter. But you know what? You're all welcome back. Peace out, everyone. Neck out. Woo!